If the sponge is indeed an animal, it must eat to survive. How does it feed itself when it has no obvious mouth? A sponge is actually a fantastic pump which requires an incredible coordination of cells to function. It's a living filtering machine. It lives by sucking in water and filtering out food particles. These seemingly motionless creatures are working extremely hard in order to feed. Imagine that to get an ounce of food, a sponge has to pump over a ton of water through itself. Now, can you imagine doing that yourself? Drinking a ton of water to get an ounce of food to your body? Diaz has studied sponges for decades, yet she has never seen them feed in the wild. Until now, few have. To make the invisible visible, Diaz injects a harmless colored dye into the water near the body of a sponge. One of the ways we can test for the rate of water flow that moves through the sponge body is to inject a colored dye and measure the speed at which it is pumped through the sponge. Actually, for me, this is the first time I've done this. And I've been really looking forward to the opportunity for years. And I'm so excited to try this experiment. When I start seeing the color dye coming out of the sponge, in less than two seconds from when it was applied, I could not believe my eyes. This steady and strong continuous flow of water continuously coming out of the sponge was an incredible realization of the dynamic existence of this organism. It's an incredible sight to witness. These ghostly exhalations are proof that the sponge is actively pumping. With no mouth, it sucks water directly through its sponge-like body walls which are shot through with millions of narrow canals and tiny chambers. How does it do it? What secrets hide within the belly of this beast? The best way to find out is to enter one of the many portals into the sponge's secret inner world. Drifting along with countless single-celled organisms, we feel the tug of a current. In the wonderland within, this sponge's cells all work for the common good, but they do it in wildly different ways. As the current draws us on, we pass sponge cells that are making new spicules, themselves are treacherous. They can simply engulf their unfortunate prey. ever narrower passages, the current slows until we burst into one of the sponge's millions of tiny beating hearts. These are coanocytes, cells whose whip-like flagelli powers the pump. The flow quickens again as it whisks us away through the labyrinth of canals that lead out into the sponge's central cavity.
What once seemed barely alive is actually a living animal, more complex than we could have imagined. <laughs> 